Good morning. Hello, friends. I thought I would come on and just talk a little bit about what's going to come up this week. I'm actually going to do two sales this week. So one is going to be with Erin on the collection vintage. Um, so I'll put a link to her channel below. That'll be on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern or that's 10 a.m. Pacific for those of you in the West Coast. And then I'll also have my regular Tuesday sale at 6 p.m. Pacific or 9 p.m. Eastern. So lots of sales happening and I will combine shipping if you come to both sales and you purchase things from both sales, you'll, I'll combine them together. So I thought I'd show you a few things because the sale with Erin is a special one. Erin and I talked about this a while back and thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a, uh, a sale on with all Canadian vintage, so made in Canada um, vintage stuff. And so I've been collecting it for a while, so she, and we're going to sell some Canadian vintage. So I thought I'd show you a few things to get your appetite wet for that sale on Monday. Um, this is one of the things really cool from, it's a, uh, a Vancouver based pottery, um, Royal Arston, um, very rare, very, very rare because they only made a few pieces. So this is a, uh, something that I'll do an offer up on. And then I've got another really cool thing I want to do an offer up on and that's this cat. Isn't this amazing? So this is from Laurentian Pottery. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is a mid-century piece. Again, super duper rare. Uh, it goes for like 150 bucks. So we'll do an offer up on that one. But then I've got some other, you know, smaller items. Like I've got some, some glassware, uh, some Dominion glass, um, is Dominion glass was a Canadian glass manufacturer that makes glasses that are similar to sort of the Libyan style. So I've got a set of three of these really cute ones. Dominion glass has a D on the bottom. You can see that there. And I've got some other Dominion glass. These I'm pretty sure were swanky swigs. Like they were probably filled with sour cream or something like that. Again, the D on the bottom. A set of four of those. Um, oh, and some Highcroft pottery. Couldn't do a Canadian sale without some Highcroft. Highcroft is uh, uh, out of Medicine Hat, Alberta. Um, and it was a pottery that was very popular, very popular in the mid-century, very collectible. And I have uh, eight of these nappies, so I'll sell them in two sets of four probably. Um, and this is kind of fun, different. It's a pink plastic uh, baby bank. Isn't that neat? Really different. What's fun about it is that it opens on the bottom, the heel turns, so that you can open up the bank. Oops, let's get it. Of course, it's not going to work when I'm trying to do it on, on camera, right? There. So it opens up like that. Wouldn't this be a fun thing for a baby shower if you knew that, you know, the, the mother-to-be was going to have a baby girl, you could put some money in this. Wouldn't that be a fun thing? And it says on the bottom, reliable bank, and it's made in Canada. I just thought that was really neat, old plastic bank. Um, mostly I'm going to have glass and china because that's my thing. But I also have this really cool children's reader. Um, really cool with lots of interesting graphics in it. Um, and I think it's from the 40s or 50s. I can't remember now. It's fun in the big in the inside. It was um, part of a Saskatchewan Teachers Federation, so it was a, an old school book. So this is a cool graphic too. There, um, copyright 1946. Yeah, what these books are great for these children's books with the great illustrations. You can photocopy the pictures to use in collaging and that sort of thing. So you don't damage the book, but you've got the great graphic, right, to use in, in your artwork. So that's another thing. Oh, this is fun too. Look at this beer mug. <laughs> Isn't this great? This is from White Oak Pottery, another Canadian pottery. Again, this is called a melting mug because you can see it's kind of funky. Um, and they, this was a Canadian, I believe out of Ontario, um, pottery that did a lot of uh, 
um, pottery for can the Molson Canadian and other beer manufacturers. So I thought that this was a really fun thing to do to have it in the sale. And of course, it could not be a Canadian sale without a beaver. <laughs> so this is a really beautiful carving of a beaver by Jim Harkinson, Harkness. Jim Harkness, and he's a really known, well-known carver. He's famous for his ducks. People collect his ducks, but he also does other animals too, and so that's kind of cool. So yeah, so that's just a sneak peek. There's more, uh, but that's what will be happening on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I am going to do my regular sale, and I typically post online on my Instagram account um, sneak peeks of some of the things that I'll be having up for auction. But let me just see here. Well, this is one thing that I just found that I thought I put in the auction that I thought was kind of neat. It's a brass monkey, and he's got a great patina on him, and he's a ring holder. He's got a bit of weight to him, but I think he's just really different and he's kind of thinking there, pensive pose. Um, oh, here's another thing that I thought I'd put in this week's sale. Isn't this neat? I got to do some more research on it. It says made in Czechoslovakia stamp on the bottom, but I just thought it was a really neat, very art deco looking planter, right? Yeah. Really neat, especially for those people that like the kind of neutrals and like, you know, white on white and that kind of thing. Um, oh, I've got some buttons. Oh my gosh. I will bring some shell buttons because somebody asked me for that. But look at these ones. So these are metal buttons and they're just incredible. I've never seen brass buttons like this before. Um, they are they're from an, a box of really, really old buttons. And they're just absolutely amazing, 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 amazing. Like, and there's a whole, I've got a whole bag of them that I'm going to do an offer up on. Aren't these cool? So if you like kind of brass, um, these would look amazing. I, I, I'd be excited to see what you as a crafter could do with these buttons because I think they're just absolutely stunning and could make some something look really, really great. So yeah, I've got these cool buttons. Um, oh, I've got a piece of Balik too. Um, a Balik plate with the old stamp. So that's gonna come up on my sale on Tuesday. Um, what else can I show you? Let's see if I can grab one more thing. Oh yeah, okay, so here's another thing that I'm thinking of for Tuesday, um, the Jeanette glass floor gold pattern. So depression glass bowl with the ripple bowl. It's really neat, right? Yeah, so there's lots more and I'll definitely do some photographs for Instagram to show you some other things that I'll sell on Tuesday. Uh, so hope to see you at the sales. Have a great day. Love you, bye.